Hi, it's Mark Zeretti. Thanks for coming back and visiting my YouTube channel. And you can also visit my blog at georgetune.com slash blog. Uh, if, this is, if this is your first visit, I'm a cartoonist. I draw a comic strip called George. And um, I'm also a Linux user, so I talk a lot about using Linux and uh, using it to create my comic strip and my comic features and that sort of thing. And my blog also features other features, the other comic features that I do, and uh, some of the um, oh, some of the applications I use in Linux and that sort of thing. Every once in a while, I go off on a tangent and talk about things like oh, I don't know, Fire Am Amazon Fire Stick on an old uh, tube TV and uh, using converter box and old tube TV that sort of thing. Uh, recently, I contributed to a book called Tune Appetite um, with my fellow cartoonists in the Great Lakes chapter of the National Cartoonist Society. And you can buy this book at uh, Brawler Books. Um, very reasonably priced. It's a recipe book featuring terrific recipes from cartoonists and great cartoon art. So that's where you can buy it. So uh, please check it out if you get a chance. The reason why I mention this book is because last week I was at uh, the Hudson Library in Hudson, Ohio. We were giving a program on cartooning, talked about the book, and there were a lot of uh, students there. And I told them how great Linux is in creating my comic strip and my comic features, like I knew that and some of the other things that I do. A few days later, I realized that many of these students use Chromebooks in school now. I know that the local school system in my area gave all the kids in the schools Chromebooks. And as far as I knew, up until a couple days ago, Chromebooks don't run Linux programs. Well, that is, I discovered that they do. And this is really, really neat. Because deal breaker for me in getting a Chromebook was that it wasn't running these great programs that I have in Linux. It wasn't running GIMP. Photo, Im photo imaging, it wasn't running Scribus Desktop Publishing or uh, LibreOffice or OpenOffice or any of these other programs, but now it does thanks to a company called Rollapp at rollapp.com. They have ported through the cloud all these great Linux programs that you can now run on your Chromebook. I'm going to show you how to do it. This is really neat. Now, I'm running the Chrome OS on my Linux. Uh, system right now, but this is just like a Chromebook. Chrome browser and the Chrome OS on a Chromebook, same thing. So, if you come over here to the web store, and we're going to type in Roll App, uh, and here you are. Here we've got uh, GIMP and OpenOffice and LibreOffice, and there are many other Linux programs that are available in Chrome. So, all you do is install them on this side in, in the uh, Chrome OS. And you come back over here to the Roll app and you create an account. And once you create an account, now you have access to those Linux programs. Then, this is the really a really neat part, you uh, probably have some cloud storage like Box, Dropbox, Google Drive, as I do. And over here, you can collect your, you can connect your cloud storage to your Rollapp account so that you can use those files and those programs. It's really, really neat. So, if you come to the web application page in Chrome, here's a look at some of the programs I already have installed. And you can install these programs one of three ways. You can install right here from the web app page. You can install or launch actually. They're installed already. You can launch from the web application page. You can launch right over here from the quick launch uh, application right on their web page here. Or you can go right into your Chrome box menu and I, I'm running this on my Linux system here. And it should be coming up any minute. Well, let's try to get it up again. There it is. Uh, and you can run launch right from here. So let's go ahead and launch GIMP. And GIMP is starting up right now. And there it is. And there's GIMP. GIMP running 
in Chrome. And that's just amazing because I don't have to do anything else. Usually with Chromebooks, uh, people who want to run Linux end up hacking into them to try to get a dual boot system. They'll take Ubuntu Linux and they'll have to jump through a few hoops to get it to dual boot so that they can run Linux on one part of the hard drive and the Chromebook OS on the other part of the hard drive. Now, if you're a student in high school or junior high, you're probably prohibited from doing anything like that to your Chromebook. This is a perfect solution. You can run all these great programs, these free open source programs, right there in your Chromebook without having to do anything other than install on the web store, sign up for an account on Rollapp. Now here I'm going to open up one of my files I've been working on. And we're going to go to Home. And you can see here my box and my Dropbox accounts are already there in my home directory. And we're going to go here to Test. And this is all, everything's in the cloud. It's all in the cloud. It's being saved in the cloud, being pulled down from the cloud. It's, it's, it's terrific this way. It really is. And we're going to open this up now again. Because we're in the cloud, there is a little bit of a delay in getting the images up and doing some things in editing. But really, that's, if you have a fast enough connection, you'll be fine. Uh, so here it is. And we can do some editing here. Let's um, show you what I can do here real quickly. Change this to an RBG image. And we're going to bring up um, color palette and select red. I'm going to come over here, get my... Um, bucket tool and I'm going to add some red stripes and maybe a red mitten and there you have it. So there's a lot of things you can do using GIMP in a Chromebook. Absolutely amazing. I'm just absolutely thrilled because as I say because I didn't have access to GIMP and some of these other programs getting a Chromebook was a deal breaker. Now it's not. I can I can use all my wonderful Linux programs on a, on a Chromebook without having to hack it. And it's just, it's, that's just terrific. I think that's just wonderful. So I'm going to quit this. And I'm going to discard my changes and we're going to exit uh, the program. Now, <clears throat> you might be wondering, well, this is, this is, this is wonderful. Um, what else does it offer? Well, it offers all these Linux programs. Uh, you also have a system whereby you can um, request a program. Maybe you're, maybe, maybe there's a program you've heard that they, in the Linux community that you'd like them to to investigate, and you know they're very good in responding and getting getting some things up there. And if a lot of people want it, then uh, they'll put it up there for you. And there are a lot of Linux programs uh, up there. And once you have an account, you have access to all these programs. Um, you also, right here, have this nice little utility on their web page to take a file from your local hard drive. Let's say you're running a Windows or a Mac system and you want to open up that file in one of these applications and then perhaps save it to the cloud so you can go ahead and edit uh, in your Chromebook later on, something like that. You can do that. You can do that again right over here. Very, very neat feature. And again, it's across all platforms, all mobile devices. Now, it is a subscription-based service. That might be good or bad depending on where you're at. Now, if, if it were me and I was, say, a college student and I was working on uh, some very important papers for classes and that sort of thing and I had a Chromebook, I definitely would go with this because you lose your Chromebook, you always have access to those files on a smartphone, on a tablet, on a friend's uh, Mac or Windows system, you can always boot up Chrome or get into a browser and get to this website and get your documents and actually work on them too at the same time across all platforms. Now, the annual fee is $5.99 a month, which works out to about $72 a year. And um, if you want to use it as a forever free application, well, you'll have access to all your files in the cloud on a Chromebook, Windows, Mac, Linux, Kindle Fire, iPad, Android, Android Fire OS. Uh, all of these cloud storage services are supported and you'll be able to open up and look at these files and have them on all those platforms absolutely free. If you want to save something, okay, then you have to pay a little bit. And that's not too terribly bad. Um, 
if for say someone gives you a Chromebook for Christmas or your birthday, you get a free computer, so why not spend the extra money and uh, save some files? Especially as I say, if you're in school and you're, you, you want access to this and you have Linux on your desktop at home perhaps or a Mac and you have a Chromebook uh, to go from classes and um, uh, you want to keep these documents and you're comfortable using GIMP and OpenOffice and some of these other programs, you like using those programs, you know what, it's, it really is worth a couple of bucks to, to uh, pay the subscription fee. You know, you don't have to pay the entire year, I guess. You could just try it out for a monthly fee here of $6.99 a month. Sign up for a month or two. See if you like it. Um, apps, you know, they're, they're putting a lot of work and they're making a lot of this available to you. And you don't have to go through, um, well, you don't have to go through hacking a Chromebook. And as much as I like Linux, and I tell people, you know, get a box, wipe Windows off of it, install Linux on it, and you're up and running. There is a little bit of a learning curve there. So you're going to have to get up to speed with learning about Linux and getting it installed and learning something in and out. With this, you don't have to. So you're either going to spend time in learning Linux and getting installed on a computer box, or you're going to spend a little bit of money when someone has done all the groundwork for you. Um, I think it's a very good solution. Uh, given that also, you can run this on your tablet. And I was running GIMP on my tablet just before I made this video. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, it's just really wonderful. So really, take a look at it. It's, it's a terrific, terrific solution to uh, getting some great, great open source programs on your Chromebook. And, and now that I know this, getting a Chromebook for me is no longer a deal breaker because I have access to all these terrific programs and I'll be able to edit any of my cartoon files on a Chromebook using GIMP, save to the cloud, and I'll be able to access them um, on the other side when I get back to my Linux desktop. It's absolutely, it's, it's really, really a terrific program. It's worth investigating. I leave it to you, and um, uh, I'm pretty excited about it because I'm a big Linux fan, and I think this is a really good step forward for Linux and for uh, Chromebook. So that's it. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, please visit my blog. Get yourself a coffee mug up there, uh, George Coffee Mug. And thanks again. I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.